Jennifer Walters gets an emergency blood transfusion from her cousin, Bruce Banner. <laughs> yeah, that Bruce Banner. And she acquires a similar version of his Hulk condition. As such, Walters becomes a large, powerful, green-hued version of herself. Now, unlike her cousin, she largely retains her personality, in particular, the majority of her intelligence and emotional control. Like Hulk, she is still susceptible to outbursts of anger and becomes much stronger when enraged. In her later years, her transformation becomes permanent, and she's also known to often break the fourth wall. As She-Hulk, Jennifer possesses powers similar to those of her cousin, although at a somewhat reduced level. Initially, the transformation to her She-Hulk form was triggered by anger. Like many gamma-powered beings, her mutated form was originally explained as being molded by her subconscious desire to look like an ideal version of herself. In her later years, she gains control of her transformations when Michael Morbius, uh, yeah, th that Michael Morbius, cures her of a lethal blood disease. Okay, before we explain her powers, don't forget, if you're feeling like being an extra amazing human being, you can share, comment, or subscribe. And reserved for only the most incredible super nerds, you can of course support future videos with caffeinated energy by clicking on the buy me a coffee link in the description below. All right, now let's talk a little bit more about She-Hulk's powers. For durability, She-Hulk rates as superhuman, scoring a 6 out of 7. She-Hulk possesses a high degree of resistance to injury and pain, and her physiology renders her immune to most earthly diseases. Her skin is capable of withstanding tremendous temperatures from minus 190 degrees Fahrenheit to 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. And she's even capable of withstanding direct hits by field artillery cannon shells. For energy projection, She-Hulk rates at 1, which means, well, she doesn't have any energy projection abilities. But Jen Walters has been shown to display an underlying ability to absorb, control, and project gamma radiation, just like her cousin, on occasion. She-Hulk's fighting ability is at a pretty high level, at 4 out of 7. She was trained by Gamora in several forms of martial arts, and she's even learned which nerves to strike to render an opponent completely unconscious. Jennifer Walter rates at 3 out of 7 for intelligence, which classifies her as a learned individual. She attended UCLA School of Law and Harvard Law School. She's shown great versatility in her legal practice, representing criminal defendants, corporations, and even domestic violence victims. She can run and move at speeds that are far beyond the physical limits of human beings. She's rated at a 3 out of 7, placing her at superhuman speeds at up to 700 miles per an hour. She-Hulk's leg muscles enable her to leap as high as 600 feet and a surface distance of at least 1,000 feet. Her physical strength is quite honestly off the charts at 7 out of 7, meaning she can lift in excess of 100 tons. Although she tops the charts, She-Hulk, like many other heavy hitters, are placed next to celestial powerhouses on this scale, not because they're equal in strength, but equal in displaying immeasurable feats of strength. And now you've been brought up to speed, but if you're looking to read up more on She-Hulk, I recommend checking out The Savage She-Hulk number one, She-Hulk single green female, and She-Hulk's Hunt for the Intelligentsia. And that is She-Hulk once again. I'm Michelle, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.